Hey JCT, you've got Jake and Danny here with the JCT podcast. We come back today. Uh, it's June the first. Getting gosh over over halfway through the second quarter already, which is crazy. It's already midway through the year and um, post transaction. The last time that we yeah. spoke together was actually with Brad and and just talking about how the two companies, you know, uh, coming together but staying separate and, and how those operations have gone. And we're just kind of chugging along after a really successful May. Yeah, no, Brad referenced Y2K kind of <laughs> being a non-event, and I think that's Computers what... still work. <laughs> yeah, everything's still working, trucks are still running, the brand is still firmly entrenched, so that's all good stuff. But no, uh, driver, JCT drivers and associates just want to come to you today and, and, and give you some updates. Um, we're a month past closing with Hirschbach, and really, as we referenced, not a lot has changed. Um, you know, we're still running the same routes, doing the same thing. We paid out the thousand dollar bonus to drivers as promised, which paid out on May thirteenth. Yep. Which I know I heard a lot of positive feedback and comments about that. So um, we're excited to put that money in your pocket, and then um, talk about how we can put more money in your pocket today. Yeah, well, and as everybody, you know, the hot topic right now is fuel costs that everybody's seeing across the country. I was actually in France last week, and when I got back here in Oklahoma, even just the gas prices were over four dollars a gallon, which I don't think I've ever seen before in my life. It, it's so extraordinary. It's crazy. Yeah. It is. I mean, I, I it's sticker shock, and uh, to say that, you know, five six dollar a gallon diesel is here to stay or could go even higher is unbelievable. So, drivers, we understand where you're what you're dealing with out there, and and while our fuel fuel surcharge reimbursement is up in the sixty one sixty two cent per mile range, and if you get seven and a half or more miles per gallon, you know, that lowers your effective fuel costs down to that dollar twenty, dollar thirty per gallon, which is pretty good. But there's idle time, out of route miles and other things that you don't get compensated for that cost more. And um, believe me, we, we we pay for the reefer fuel as you know, and so that's gone up a lot. And uh, the fuel surcharge schedule doesn't always keep up with that. But Really, some of the things we've done with Hirschbach is we've gone through and started to uh, try to true up some measurables and some accounting uh, functions, and we've noticed one of the opportunities that um, is fuel. And Hirschbach drives a lot of, you know, I'm not sure if you're familiar, but they have this 99 cent fuel program, and in order to comply, to be eligible for that, um, you have to fuel at a Pilot Flying J or Loves, and actually they drive most of their gallons, I think three quarters of their gallons are, are at loves truck stops and if you look at our makeup of our gallons the bulk of our gallons are at pilot flying j which we offer a 15 cent rebate to the driver to fuel there so that that's understandable that the drivers would you know want to fuel at pilot flying j but we in the past we haven't had a rebate or a discount at loves and so by combining our gallons with hirschbach we can now offer we're going to offer a 15 cent per gallon rebate at loves um, and so just like a pilot flying j which is where you have to buy your reefer fuel now, or at a Loves. You can fuel at a Loves, get a 15 cent rebate, take on your reefer fuel there, and it'll save you from having to go to an additional stop. And one of the things we noticed, we see some um, off-brand stops. Um, there's ACAL, 1-9, Maverick, some of these other stops. Really, most of those are in Arizona, New Mexico, some in Texas, where we see a, a pretty significant amount of gallons being pumped there. And, and we know the reason why, because the, the price at the pump is lower than what it is at the Pilot Flying J or at the Loves. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go through and look at those pricing and those regions at the stops that are nearby at a Loves or a Pilot Flying J and adjust a discount even beyond the $0.15 cent dis- discount. So that's more to come there. And I don't want to make this confusing at all. So really just to reiterate, today what we're going to do, this starts June 6, Monday, June 6. There will now be a 15 cent rebate at all loves um, stops, just like there is at Pilot Flying J. So what we'd ask drivers to do, if you can um, realign your fueling strategies to pump gallons at the loves, if if we can't drive a certain amount of gallons and combine those with Hirschbox gallons, then we're at risk of losing that discount. And um, if we can drive more gallons there, then we can realize a larger discount and provide even a larger rebate to you, the driver. So. Basically today, what we want to say is we're going to offer the discount loves. We're going to ask you to, um, you know, look at your strategy, see if you can purchase more gallons there, um, and then we're going to target these other stops uh, specifically in those regions and figure out what the discount needs to be to make it an equal and apples to apples comparison. For sure, and, and as we were talking kind of before, you know, if you've got the ability, you're already going to Pilot Flying J for reefer fuel or loves. 
um, you know, and, and you're you know, having to fuel that there if you can fuel your truck at the same spot. And then also if you're, you know, um, going to stay at the Loves or you prefer the Loves right. compared to another stop or, or wherever it might be. I, I think um, it's good to have that extra option. And so, as you as you mentioned, you know, um, things to the program, we're only going to be uh, adding to and, and beneficial things and not taking things away. So I think this is something that, you know, just adding um, to kind of the possibilities and the things that, you know, you have access to out there on the road at a, at a discount anyway. Yeah, we, that's right. The only changes we're going to make are going to be positive. So this is a positive change right off the bat. Um, we're also, you know, we're studying the 99 cent fuel program that Hirschbach offers, and um, that may be something up for consideration in the future. But right now, what we think is with our, our fuel surcharge reimbursement and driving larger rebates to you, the driver, at the uh, off your pump purchases, that we can get down to that equivalent cost of fuel. And then, it, like I said, it goes back to idle time, out or out miles, things like that, which all of you are aware when you're buying your own fuel, those are things you really have to watch. And um, at 5 or $6 a gallon versus 2 or $3 a gallon, it just magnifies those costs at a, a much greater impact. So um, we know it's a challenge out there right now, but our, our reimbursements have gone up. Our miles are still strong. You know, we've moved our base rate of pay up to the dollar twenty range. So when you look at our program, we see it on a weekly basis. We have guys that are making a lot of money, yep. paying off trucks, doing well. And, you know, we're now seeing a time in the market where spot rates have came down. Um, the freight markets are shifting a little bit and cooling off. And so it makes our program stack up even better against the guys that are maybe out chasing load boards or hauling on the spot. And with these bigger fuel rebates, um, we think it's going to, you know, allow you to put even more money in your pocket. Well, sure. and, and as we know, the volume hasn't necessarily slowed down either. We're we're doing a lot of a lot of business. And yeah, really and well, we so. we've got the freight, and yeah. some of the guys that are out working load boards and chasing spot loads are, are finding they're sitting more now. They're having to take loads to places they maybe didn't have to before, make multiple drops or pickups, things like that. And so it's definitely shifting. That's why we're seeing a, a pretty strong inbound flow of drivers. We've increased our seated truck count up close to going, uh, getting closer to 700 now, which is one of our goals. And so you're going to continue to see um, JCT and Hirschbach both are going to prosper through this, um, whatever happens in this next cycle. And, uh, you know, in the temp control space, um, people are going to eat and, you know, that, that we haul food. And so that's not going away as, as you've seen for years. We've always had freight and always had miles for you. But some of the cost components and challenges, the headwinds there can definitely be concerning, just like this fuel. Yeah. So we're going to continue to look at ways to, you know, drive greater discounts, pass on more rebate to you, the driver. And then we're, we're the ask we're going to make of you is just to help us, you know, drive those gallons at certain stops. Because the more gallons we pump and combined with Hirschbox gallons, um, then the greater discounts and bigger rebates we can pass on to you, the driver. Yeah, yeah. the incentive to go there is... is uh just to benefit you more in the future. Absolutely. Oh. So be safe out there. Um, let's have a good uh, rest of the second quarter. Um, then we're, you know, the next thing we'll come up on is the 4th of July holiday, which is obviously a busy time for our country and, and, and in the tr- transportation world, especially in the temp control, food and produce and protein and all the things that pick up in the summertime. And we're seeing our customers, are, our volumes are strong. Our routes are, are you know, defined. and. And we're hearing more and more from our drivers how much they love our network and love the company. And so we're excited to come to you with this, like I said, positive news as a result of our merger acquisition with Hirschbach. Awesome. Yeah, thanks, everybody. Stay safe. We'll talk again soon. Thank you.